We already know that research shows us the vast majority of the people that, that view and watch and react to child pornography would sexually abuse a child if given the opportunity. Well, in this case, he did it in reverse. We first well, howdy, y'all. Hunky T here. I just got this uh, video here set up. It's about the pedophiles and uh, all the kind of things you expect to see in a liberal society. Um, but anyways, I don't want to pontificate on all that. I'm just going to let you see a couple of these people. Uh, I'm going to break this up into probably several videos because it's uh, a little too long. So anyways, I'd normally like to say uh, enjoy the video, but it's kind of hard to with the subject matter. But, so uh, just take it for what it is. All right. They are uploading, downloading, transferring child pornography of children engaged in sexual behavior with adults as young as 12 months old that should just mortify all of us. But I want to give you our top poster child first. This is Wade Menard. Wade is 36 years of age and he get, downloads his child porn on Sundays from his mom's house. Let me tell you a little bit about him. He received in 2009, he was arrested and subsequently received a 25 year prison sentence for molestation of two children, one we believe was seven years of age and the other 11 years of age. He appealed that 25 year sentence and sometime during the appeal process, he agreed to three years in Florida State Prison and 15 years of probation. I don't have the details. We're still looking into how do you get a 25 year sentence down to three years in state prison. Well, after the dust settled, he spent two years in state prison and 15 years of probation. Now, subsequent to that in 2018, we arrested him again for failure to register. And the system was tough on him that time. They added six more months of probation or community uh, service or community monitoring to him for that violation. Now, I want to pause before I get to his 2019 events to point out to Senator Brandis, who wants to go from 85% sentencing down to 65% sentencing. You see, this guy started out with a 25 year. Somehow he ended up with three and it ended up with two. I would say that's a very forgiving criminal justice system. Well, Brandis's law would let this guy out of jail early. Yeah, he could get out early. So when Senator Brandis wants to talk to you about low-level nonviolent felons getting out early, I want you to remember that it's not just low-level nonviolent felons, it's people like this. So I detect is once again not to be deterred by our liberal criminal justice system that lets very bad people out who sexually molest children at a young age arrested him again. So now we've arrested him for 33 counts of possession of child pornography. You see, he hasn't changed because leopards don't change and neither do tigers. They don't change their spots or their stripes. So he's back doing the same kind of stuff. We already know that research shows us the vast majority of the people that, that view and watch and react to child pornography would sexually abuse a child if given the opportunity. Well, in this case, he did it in reverse. We first arrested him for the sexual abuse of child, and now we've caught him for child porn. So, at the end of the day, you think that's the whole story. There's more to the story. While he's been out, guess where he works? At Computer Plus in Winter Haven. You know, he could have come to your house on a house call. He could have entered your computer from the office because they will do online repairs. That's right, 
Computer Plus hired this guy to be into your computer systems too. Now, don't you feel comfortable with businesses that are engaged in computer type services? And why did this da guy download on Sunday? He downloaded on Sunday at his mom's house because of course part of his probation doesn't allow him to have access to the internet. Oh, except that he's working there. That's the kind of thing that aggravates the stew out of us when we're trying to keep these deviants from your children. Well, once again, my friends, there you go. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be busting this up and do a few separate videos. So if you subscribe and you ring that bell, you will be notified when the new ones come out. And uh, please like and subscribe and share. Like I say, it's always nice to have you all sharing this stuff so your friends and family can see it. And up at the top here, you'll see a link to another video, and there's a little button there that makes it real convenient to subscribe. But anyways, I want you all to have a blessed day. You all take care of yourself. You take care of each other. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.